time to permanently put a hole in my desk. Oh, he's come out clean. Fantastic. <laughs> Hello, it's an exciting day here at the Happy Hut. I'm going to be fitting this USB port and headphone jack. I'm actually going to be fitting it to my new IKEA Skasta standing desk. This is what the port looks like. It has three USB ports and a mic jack and a headphone jack. And this is gonna save me so much time. It's got a USB card reader and a micro SD card reader. It comes with like a, well, all the spaghetti underneath. And on the other end, we have a USB 2.0 plug, a microphone and headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter jacks. This is my IKEA Skasta standing desk, and I've got it raised to quite a high level. It'll probably go up even further, but I just wanted to get it in shots so you could see. I've marked this spot here. This is where I want the USB port to be. And I've marked it out. I've made it 10 centimeters in and 10 centimeters from the side, and I've planned it so that it doesn't hit anything underneath, fingers crossed. I've got uh, Derek drill here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to cut into this. So first I'm going to drill a pilot hole. So here goes. Okay, here goes nothing. Here goes defacing my brand new IKEA desk. So that's the pilot hole. I can now use this as a, as a pilot hole for this round teeth cutter. I never know, I've taken out the ones in the middle. I never know if you're supposed to leave these in to help grind away or whether to just leave the outer one as a, as a clean hole. Say, say something in the comments if you know one way or the other. <laughs> It'll be too late for me. <laughs> Time to permanently put a hole in my desk. I hate this moment, here we go. Oh, he's come out clean, fantastic. Oh. So I now have a hole in my IKEA Skasta desk so I can take this away now. But this is what it looks like inside the Skasta desk. It's, it's like corrugated cardboard. Uh, so that's, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So I'll just vacuum it out. Now I have a really big problem. The blade that I used was 5.5 centimeters, but the hole is six centimeters because it, it's just that little bit too small. But if I do it with a knife, it's gonna be really super messy. I don't know what to do. This blade is too big. I think what I'm going to do is go to the hardware store and buy more stuff. Okay, so I've gone to the hardware store in town and looked everywhere and <laughs> look, there is a space for the hole cutter set and they don't have any. But the measurements look like they were slightly too small and slightly too big anyway. So now I'm gonna go home and see if I can use a knife. I'm gonna use this knife. I am going to mark out how much extra I need by just drawing round it. There, so now I need to cut out pretty much that much with the knife. And the very high quality IKEA desk is cutting really easily. <laughs> so let's try that. So I'll push the holder in. Whoa, it's perfect fit. Great stuff. So obviously that looks a lot more tidier than that. I'll rub out my pencil marks. There, that looks really smart. And then we can feed the cables down into the desk. Perfect, look at this. This looks so good. You can twist it to any orientation you want. I might have it facing towards me slightly. And I'm not going to be using this, but you can feed cables, any loose cables like uh, mouse cables or keyboard cables into the desk. And it just comes out the other side. So all I need to do now is to plug these into my computer that's lashed under the desk. And that is a really nice setup, I think. I'll just try it out now with my Urban Ears headphones, but you can get this desk <laughs> headphone jack and USB ports uh, in the link in the description down below. I'll throw it out of shot for one last time, <laughs> but let's give this a try. So this is what it looks like, and it is looking pretty darn fine and pretty darn flush as well. So there are three USB ports. 
Let's try one of those. We also have micro SD card slots and an SD card slot there. And then I'll plug in my headphone socket. There we go. But that is looking pretty darn good. I'm really, really pleased with that. And the cables that come attached to it feel pretty substantial too. So don't forget the link in the description. Thanks for watching. And right here is some other stuff that I'm doing on YouTube. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click in his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, Mike.